Hi everyone, Sam here from The Skin Blog. In this video, I'll be talking to you about retinal liposomes, probably the most infamous cosmetic ingredient in the world, both for its risk and rewards. We'll be talking about how retinal works, the risk factors, the rewards, how the liposomes make this ingredient so unique, the specifications of the oil and recommended suppliers. So I'm going to explain this section as simply as I can. I enjoy maths, but when I talk about these sort of things, it usually ends in people's eyes glazing over. <laughs> so retinol goes under an enzymatic change within your skin, which caused, is caused by retinol dehydrogenase, the enzyme in question. It converts the retinol down the line until it becomes all trans retinoic acid, primarily tretinoin. Now for the ingredient we are discussing now, it only needs two conversions with retinal esters and retinal palmitate needing three conversions. The best version to use outside of the pharmacy is retinildehyde, which is a retinol and only has one conversion. The best paper we've found and read shows that there's a 2,500% deduction per conversion when compared to transretinoic acid and retinildehyde. The percentages show the rating such as showing 1% retinol is the equivalent to 0.0016% tretinoin, only about 15 to 16 times less potent than the pharmaceutical grade cosmetics. I find this interesting because we can compare this chemically synthetic retinol to kakai and rosehip oil, the only known plant-based sources of transretinoic acid tretinoin. It shows that for every one drop of 1% retinol, you'll need 15 drops of kakai oil, or 45 drops of rosehip oil to be absorbed within your skin. With the usage rate of facial oils ranging from two to five drops per use, obviously it isn't a replacement, but it does show there is a natural alternative. It would likely take you about a week of daily usage at the maximum for people of more mature skin for pure kahai oil for, to produce one day's absorption of 1% retinol, or about three weeks if you're using pure rosehip. Anyway, now the math's out of the way, let's get to the details you'll be interested in, starting with the cons, of course. Honestly, the primary benefit is actually the cause and the risk when it comes to retinol. It causes a significantly improved cellular turnover. Now, for many, using the word improved might not be the best word. Your skin barrier will essentially be thinned out, increased in sensitivity, increasing the risk of UV damage, causes inflammation, which is why some people can be affected by redness, dries out your skin because the thin skin barrier will increase the amount of water loss, uh, which is referred to as transepidermal water loss. Others have noticed an increase in acne or pimples. This is due to the purging, another term, retinalization. This increase in cellular turnover pulls up all the deep pores that you'll have within your skin and essentially excretes it at a much higher rate. So you'll gain a bit of acne significantly faster, but it'll also go much faster as well. Now, finally, for the cosmetic benefits provided by retinol, which start around the four week mark and come on quite fast because all the issues you might have initially had is literally several months of poor movement and expulsion of oxidized sebum and other deposits removed from your skin within just those few weeks. There's a whole range of benefits. It's shown to provide such as stimulating type one, three and four collagen, which will significantly improve fine lines and wrinkles with studies showing that between the ages of 20 to 30, we begin to lose collagen within our skin at a rate of about 1% to 2% quantity per year. This will negate the damages of this natural process. Alongside stimulating collagen synthesis is the negating collagenase enzymes, which actually consume the collagen within your skin, again improving your skin's con collagen content. Some studies have shown that it stimulates the elastin content within us, our skin, which is a far lesser known area than collagen when it comes to studies. Elastin is what makes your skin stretchy and recede back into place when you pinch your skin. The increased cellular turnover improves acne and other regenerative tissues damage, like scars caused by cuts and even acne scars. The increased cellular turnover also improves pigmentation-based issues such as hyperpigmentation, dark spots, blemishes, etc. Now, what makes retinal liposomes so expensive is the liposomes themselves, a double layer of phospholipids that encapsulate the retinal molecules. Due to the phospholipids being capable of binding to our cellular membranes and improving the absorption capacity, which re while regulating how much of a reaction you'll get from the retinal. Thanks to retinal being encapsulated, it has a few unique benefits compared to normal retinal. While normal retinal it can be unstable and easily affected by temperature, UV light, and acidic compounds, 
retinal liposomes have been shown to have an average of 400% slower degradation at all those points, pH levels, temperatures, and UV exposure. These liposomes also improve the depth of penetration of the retinal, improving their effectiveness due to the fact that the fibroblasts that stimulate the collagen synthesis are within the dermal skin layer, which is only the secondary layer within your skin. Now the composition is 80% capric triglycerides, 10% phospholipids, and 10% retinol. You can find versions that are 89% capric triglycerides, 10% phospholipids, and 1% retinol, which are vegan and are in derived via another method. But this version is specific, and it does state on the pages of the recommended suppliers which ones are 10% and which ones aren't. The capric triglycerides work to improve skin penetration. The phospholipids will improve water retention within your skin due to the bonding to both water and oil molecules within your skin. It's also vegan, and while having a shelf life of up to 12 months, it's yellow in colour and has a usage rate of 1-10%. to 10% matching the 0.1 to 1% retinal concentration commonly used within other skincare products. So personally, from what I've found so far, Formulator Sample Shop is the best supplier for the job. Whether you're in the USA, Europe, UK or elsewhere, I would recommend buying from the EU branch because they cost less than half the price of the US branch at only £129.20 per 250ml. At 78 pence for the use within 30 ml bottles at 5%, 0.5% retinol, or a pound 56 for the use at 10%, 1% retinol. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please subscribe and leave a comment down below. See you soon.